The Joy of Creation is the most popular Final Fantasy fan game ever created, with a unique story, difficult gameplay, and terrifying visuals. With the new version coming out in 2025, with the demo just being released for the anniversary, it got me wondering if there was any way we could push this game to its limits. Unlike the official Final Fantasy games, fan games are stitched together quite well, and make it very difficult to make challenges for, since there aren't many underlying flaws in the code that make certain challenges possible. When looking at my other challenges, like Fire to Freddy's One of No Doors, it's possible because due to the way the animatronics are coded, there's a chance for them to move backwards and never even appear at the door. Even still, they can't attack you unless you open the cameras. Fire to Freddy's 2 No Mask is mostly just RNG and exploiting a mechanic to stall everyone's movement. Fire to Freddy's No Doors was again a flaw in the code. The official Fire to Freddy's games can be pushed to their limits, however fan games make it pretty hard to actually attempt challenges since the games are more scripted. Even with the joy of creation, there aren't many exploits to make it easier to deal with certain characters, you have to use the same methods and the game overall is just really difficult. However, one mechanic stood out to me. A lot of the mechanics revolved around sound, and at that moment, I wanted to see if it was possible to beat the joy of creation without sound. Now, right off the bat, this challenge is going to be extremely difficult. So to prevent any roadblocks, I'm going to be going through each of the levels one by one and seeing if they are possible. I'll explain how the level works in detail, and then explain the challenge of playing the level without sound, and then come to the conclusion whether or not it's possible or not. I will give each of the five levels a score of either possible, meaning that you can beat it without sound, plausible, which means that the level is most likely possible, but I was either unable to do it myself, or finally, impossible, meaning no matter what you do, the level cannot be beaten without sound. Due to the difference in all the levels, since they are all basically entirely different games in one large game, I am very curious to see exactly which levels are possible. Also, I want to clarify too, that I play this game on a 100% save file so I could access the later levels even if I couldn't beat the level without sound. But anyways, without further ado, I think it's time I stop talking, and let's get into the first challenge. So the first level of the joy of creation is the bedroom. In the bedroom, you play as Nikki, the child. In this level, you are trapped in your crib and have to fend off the animatronics until 6am. The main mechanic is the lamp, in which you need to make sure to keep it on as long as possible to prevent your sanity from running out. If that doesn't make any sense, just imagine the lamp as a power meter from Final Fantasy 1. There are four different attacks you have to worry about for this level. Freddy will come from the window in which he will put his arm up on the window before looking into the room. To combat him, you just need to shut the curtain until you hear a soft whirring noise indicating that he is gone. Bonnie will knock on the door from time to time and sometimes will open the door and look into the room. When he does this, you need to turn off the light and sit down in the crib to avoid being jump scared. Chica will open the closet door and peek into the room from time to time. When she does this, you need to turn off your lamp if she does see you, then she will jump scare you, but won't kill you, take a percentage of your sanity. If she attacks you twice, then you're basically guaranteed to run out of sanity. And if she attacks you at 5am, then it's the same. The last animatronic is Foxy, of course. He will scratch at the bottom of the bed, and then he will place his hook at the end of the bed before he appears over the base of your bed. And you need to lie down and pretend to sleep, as well as have the lamp on. If not, then he will kill you, especially if you look into his eyes. So there we go, we have everything explained. So how does this level work with beating without sound? Well, as it turns out, not very well at all. Let's discuss the various sound cues that you are meant to listen for, from least important to most important. The least important sound is Foxy scratching under the bed, since all it means is he will consider attacking, but realistically it means nothing. The next important sound is actually Foxy's hook appearing on the bed. The visual stimuli are so apparent that you probably won't miss it unless you are being completely distracted. Next is Bonnie banging on the door. Bonnie will bang three times before entering the room, which means nothing. But he has a distinct sound when he opens the door. You can, however, see him, and if you catch him as he's opening the door, then you can easily deal with him. Closet is an issue. Since if you're dealing with someone else, it's easy to not check on her, which could cause issue. Another important sound is Foxy leaving. However, the most important sound, and the one that this whole challenge falls on, is the sound of Freddy leaving the window. Freddy arriving to the window is pretty easy to see. However, the sound of him leaving the window is super important, and without it, this night becomes way more difficult. 
and there's a couple of reasons for that. For starters, obviously if you can't hear when Freddy leaves the window, then you don't know when to open the window. You can either leave you to open the window too early, which will get you killed, or what killed me more than anything, holding the curtains for too long. See, this game mode doesn't work on set intervals like the previous game. Through my playthroughs, I found that the animatronics can attack whenever they feel like, and what's more, the length of their attack is somewhat random. But you can hang out your window from anywhere from 5 seconds to 15 seconds. And the main reason this is so bad is that because the way the game is coded, the other characters like to attack just after Freddy leaves. Which means that if you don't catch Freddy leaving, you can have Chica behind you, Foxy about to pounce, or even worse, put at you while you're caught holding the curtain with your pants down. And it's not just Freddy. Foxy takes a random amount of time, and so does Bonnie and Chica. From my understanding, they attack faster as the night goes on, but it's so unpredictable that I wouldn't really know. I found that having the lamp off while checking Freddy, my time with Freddy without risk from anyone else. However, this does drain your sanity, and you're basically guaranteed to lose. What's worse is that this night lasts for 10 full minutes, which is just ridiculous. Now, I found this night to be extremely, and I mean extremely difficult. If I didn't turn the lamp off, I got killed, but turning it off would mean that I would just inevitably die. So, is this level possible? Well, I'm not too sure. I wasn't able to beat this level myself, however, I can see the chance of this level being possible. Being that it is a bunch of RNG, I'm sure that this level could definitely be beaten by a skilled enough player. However, I don't feel like I am that player, and to my knowledge, there isn't a way to cheese this level, so for now, I'm going to label this level as plausible until proven otherwise. The living room, quite frankly, is a doozy. This level is considered one of the hardest in the game with sound, so I can't imagine what it would be like without it. However, before we discuss all that, we first have to discuss the level itself and how it works. So in this level, we play as Scott's wife, who is trapped in the living room with three doors behind the couch and a TV that we can view. The doors on the left and right are where Freddy and Foxy will come from. Both characters work the same, with them each walking towards the door before bursting in through to look for you. If they see you, then you die. To combat this, you need to use the TV to pause one of the animatronics movements so that they arrive at different times so you can hide behind the doors to prevent the other seeing you. The third door is where Bonnie will come from. Every time he attacks, he will moan and then you can use the keyhole in the door to see how close he is to attacking. Same as before, hide behind the door when he's about to attack so you don't get seen. Chica is the most interesting, in that she is once again a distraction. She will make a low growling noise when you are sitting at the TV and you need to stand up and not look at her in order to get rid of her. If you fail to do this, then she will jump scare you and stun you like the first level. However, if she does this at 5am, she kills you. So that's everything. Now for the hard part, no sound. For Freddy and Foxy, not having sound does absolutely nothing to affect their mechanics. So for them, it's the same as usual. Bonnie is the first character we're going to have some issues with no sound. There are two ways to tell if he's going to attack. The first way is to listen to his moans, because they know when he's about to attack, after his four moans he's about to attack. Although, since we can't hear him, we have to rely on the second mechanic, looking for the keyhole. Now this does cause a couple of issues. For one, while at the TV, there's no way to check how far Bonnie has moved, and as such, if we get unlucky, he can kill us while we are checking. The only time we can check him is whenever we clear the other two from the door. This definitely makes Bonnie a lot more difficult. However, Bonnie is not as bad as you think, as normally he will give you a lot of time in between. One strat is to check from Bonnie halfway through stopping one of the others, or just before you hide from the others so you can check on his process. Depending on his progress depends on your next course of action. However, surprisingly, it's not Bonnie that's the main issue on this night. It's actually Chica. See, because of how we need to get up on the couch to deal with Bonnie and the others, the chance of us getting attacked by her is pretty high. Considering that her mechanics are entirely based off a sound cue that we cannot hear, it makes it significantly more difficult to deal with her. And what's more is that if she attacks us at 5am, then she just straight up kills us. A strategy I came up with is for every 10 seconds that you're on the couch, stand up for 2 seconds and then sit back down until someone's at the door. This way, you have a decent chance to combat Chica. Obviously, this doesn't work all the time, and chances are that you will get hit once. But considering there's a chance Chica won't show up at 5am and all that, it's safe to say that this is a decent strat. Another thing that you can do is only do this when it hits 5am, and not even worried about getting jump scared by her during the first 5 hours. Overall, this level is a lot more difficult, which is more annoying considering this level is difficult regardless. 
However, unlike the others, the mechanics gel together in such a way that makes this level possible. It's not easy, by god it's not easy, but it's definitely possible. You just have to get lucky. And also patient, as like the bedroom, this level is 10 minutes long. And with that, the living room is the first level of the joy of creation that I deem to be possible. Let's hope to keep the street going. The office level is the last level to feature the four main animatronics, and if I'm being honest, during normal gameplay, this one is the easiest, and I'll explain why as we go on. So anyways, unlike the previous level, this level's objective is to flash Freddy 11 or more times before 6am to win. Unlike the previous levels, this one is not dependent on time and actually requires you to achieve your goal at your own pace. To start, Freddy is basically the entire basis around this game. Freddy will appear at one of the three entrances, which you are able to see on the camera. Opening the door he's at and using the flashlight will stun him, which is what you need to do to beat the game. Foxy is the main threat on this night, also appearing at the three entrances that Freddy appears at. If you ignore him too long, then he will just kill you. To fend him off, you are meant to listen to him growling and knocking at the door, and you have to check that camera in order to scare him off. Just look into his eyes, and he will scream and run off. Chica will crawl through the hole on the wall to attempt to kill you, and you need to find three cupcakes to which will scare Chica off when they are all found. If you fail to find the cupcakes in time, then you die. Bonnie is the last character to be dealt with, and if I'm being honest, he makes this challenge way, way easier. The way he works is that if you look at the Kim on the camera, he will punch the camera and disable it. Now this sounds bad, since you're never going to know when Freddy is there, however, Foxy cannot appear behind a door for a disabled camera. So if you get Bunny to destroy two cameras, then Foxy will only show up behind one door, and then you can just go around flashing Freddy. To be honest, the strategy used for this night is pretty much exactly the same as you would use with sound. The sound in this level is nowhere near as important as the previous two, being this level without sound is only slightly more difficult as you cannot hear Foxy or Freddy knocking on the door. This means that you will need to check cameras way more often than usual, well until you can get Bonnie to punch out two of your cameras. So I really don't have much to say about this level. It's really easy in the base game, and basically the exact same thing right now but without certain sounds which are not necessary or affect you very much in any way. So this level is definitely possible, if not a little tricky. So now we're on to the last two, let's see if they are possible. The basement is probably the longest level in the game, featuring 6 individual levels that you need to complete in order to fully escape. The first level is pretty simple, the door upstairs, realise you can't make it, and then make your way back. You will have to avoid a sleeping endo, but as long as you hug the wall, you'll be fine. Now onto the hardest section in this level. The second part has you finding different artefacts that represent the animatronics and putting them into the furnace. This section is tricky because this is the only section of the basement that really relies on sound in certain sections. However, despite that, it's really not that hard. So anyways, you need to find four artifacts. Chica's cupcake, Bonnie's guitar, Foxy's hook, and Freddy's hat. Let's start with Chica, who is the hardest. The poster on the wall contains Chica's cupcake. However, when we walk up to it, we will hear growling and are supposed to wait for the growling to stop. But we obviously can't hear it, so we just have to sit and wait. I found that after around 10 seconds it was enough, but even if it's not, we can try again pretty easily. The next one to talk about is Foxy's hook, which is to be found in the trash bin. When this is picked up, the endo will be at the bathroom door, which isn't really an issue unless this other threat becomes active, which I'll talk about soon. Bonnie's guitar is found in the closet, and you'll need to make sure that you open the left door, not the right door, or you will be jump scared. Freddy's hat will be sitting on the shelf in front of the furnace. When this happens, we need to walk up the stairs and back down, and then the endo will leave. Burn all the items to complete the level. Now on top of this, there's a chance for an enemy known as Endo B to spawn. When we see flickering of the Endo and text go back, you have to go back and hide in the bathroom. If you fail to do this in time, he will rush you and kill you by throwing you into the furnace. This can be especially challenging if he appears after getting Foxy's hook, but overall this level is not too bad. Section 3 introduces the Weeping Angel Endo. The level requires us to unlock two doors by solving puzzles. After inputting the first code, you then have to input the second code while the endo follows you around. If you look at it, it can't move. Otherwise, it can. This level isn't really that hard, it's basically exactly the same as it is with sound. 
Section 4 is even easier, just walk down the hallway and don't look back. If you do, then you will die. Section 5 is where it gets tricky. Once again, sound doesn't play a part in it at all. Dodge the 4 endos, hit the button, dodge the 5th to get upstairs, and after all that, the rest of the section and the next are freebies. So yeah, this level is 100% possible with no sound, and in fact, it's probably the least change out of all the levels. So anyways, on to the final level. So here we are, the attic, the final level in this game. Now going into this, I knew this level would be the hardest, but just how hard is it? The goal of the game is very similar to the office, where you need to flash Golden Freddy 12 times to finish the level. Even as the house burns down, you can take as long as you need to complete the level. The player also has to make sure that they flash the new entity creation in order to prevent them from reaching your room and killing you. While you are juggling these guys, you also have to deal with the four endos and Golden Freddy. Sometimes Golden Freddy's face will appear behind you, so you just need to not look at it. The four endos will run towards your door and you need to shut the appropriate door to block them out since you can only block one door at a time. Two of these endos can be seen on the cameras, and you can time when they are going to show up. However, two of these endos can only be dealt with by listening to when they are running. Now this may not seem too bad, but this running is guaranteed to happen, and it can happen at any point. So quite frankly, with all things considered, this level is the most reliant on sound. So was this level possible to beat? Short answer, no. No matter how hard I tried, I could only get a couple of flashes on Golden Freddy before one of the endos came running to my door and killed me. There's just too much RNG and nowhere to tell when you need to deal with these guys, so unfortunately I will have to give the Attic a ranking of impossible, which does mean that it's not possible to beat this whole game without sound. Although I could be very much wrong. The bedroom is probably possible and maybe there's a chance for the Attic, but I'm not too sure. So there we are. This was a really cool challenge to look into, as I was quite surprised how much sound played a role in the gameplay for Joy of Creation. I absolutely enjoy doing fan game challenges, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. But with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was a bit longer than usual. If you did enjoy this video, I would heavily appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and like the video. Thank you all so much for all the support recently, and I will see you in the next video.